So the front lying hang and the lat opener are about two of the best exercises to help you with your overhead position. So if you're overhead pressing, if you're doing handstands, if you're doing kettlebell work, if you're doing any exercises that require you to press your arms overhead, these two stretches may be about the best stretches you can do to improve that position. So if you have any tightness, immobility or restrictions through your shoulder girdle and through your lats, these two stretches are going to shine a light on that and help you improve the position. I'm going to do a demo of the two exercises. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on my social media links or you can hit me up on my email address or website that you see at the end of this video. Okay, so to improve your overhead position, here are two really good stretches and I have variations of these stretches that will allow you open up the structures that are involved in that position. So firstly we're going to work on the front line hang. Essentially what we're looking for here is to get a full hand placement on the bench. Make sure that you're high-fiving the bench. You don't allow your fingers to creep off the bench. You keep that full hand placement. We're going to stretch our body out, extend our body out, and we're going to drop our nose to the floor, getting that full overhead position. So it looks a bit like this. We start. We go full hand placement, full hand placement. Push the body back, extend your body, drop your nose to the ground. Turn your armpits out and retract your shoulder blades. Open up all the structures and connective tissue surrounding the joints. And relax. So that's the, the front line hang. In terms of progressions for that stretch, you can also do that off a squat rack. You can set your J-hooks at a certain height and put the bar across the rack. And as you get better and you're starting to increase the, the mobility of your shoulder joint, you can start to lift the J-hooks and lift the bar, lift the J-hooks and lift the bar until you have a further um, height. You can start with the bench if you don't have a rack. You can also add um, plates onto the bench and increase the height of the bench as well. Make sure that you have a really good understanding of the stretch that you have a good position when you're down there, make sure you're getting your nose to the ground, you're retracting your shoulder blades and you're really opening up into the stretch. A nice variation of the front lying hang is to do it with the knees bent. And when you do it with the knees bent, it allows you to push your body deeper into the position and extend through. So we start the kneeling front lying hang in this position. We want to go hand and hand, you want to have your hands directly in line with your shoulders, you should have a 90 degree angle between your knees and your torso and from here you drop down extending through. You want to breathe into the stretch and through. So there are the front line hang, as I've already explained, they're really going to improve that overhead position. I firmly believe that if you want to improve a um, specific position, then you must spend time in that position. So if you want to improve your overhead press, then you have to spend time with your arms extended overhead and working um, all the structures that support that actual position. So another really good stretch that's going to help you um, and facilitate opening up your lats and even your triceps is the lat opener stretch. So from here, we again use the very same bench. You want to bring your elbows to the bench and your hands together like you're saying your prayers. From there, you bring your knees back and you allow your head drop down. And you're going to push your weight through your elbows, creating a really good stretch down from 
your lats right up to where we tie into the head of the humerus. That's a really nice stretch. If you want to increase the intensity of that stretch, you can load it. You can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell. I find that a kettlebell works best because it's easier to maneuver. So um, again, with this one, you want to progress very slowly, do it with body weight, then start progressing it kilo by kilo by kilo. Don't go too quick too soon because it can be quite difficult to load and unload into the position. So from here, we stay in this leaning position. We want to bring the arms around overhead and the kettlebell sits between our shoulder blades. From here, our elbows tuck in. We reach for the bench. Our knees pull back. And we're using the weight of the kettlebell to push us that bit deeper into the stretch. That's going to amplify the amount of stress we're putting through our body. To unload, release one hand, other hand helps you up, bring it over your shoulder and down. So there we have the front lying hang and the variation with the knees bent. We have a lat opener loaded and unloaded to start with. Add those two stretches and um, are their variations into your training and you will see very, very good gains very, very quickly.